After modeling the system, often an engineer will derive textual requirements from the models by hand. InSlate includes an automatic facility that generates requirements documents in a standard format, as outlined in the Engineering Design of Systems, Models, and Methods. To run the requirements generator at the first level, first let's click the Diagrams button on the top navigation bar. Then we'll click on the Action Diagram, Drive Vehicle. Click the Settings and the Toolbar, that's the wrench icon right here. Select Generate Functional Requirements. This has generated a requirements document from the model. These requirements are further decomposed and refined through the requirements view. To complete our derived requirements documents, we will follow the same steps for the decomposition action diagram for calculate waypoint obstacles and monitor environment. So first, let's click on the diagrams button on the top navigation bar. Then let's look for calculate waypoint and obstacles action diagram. Under settings, click generate functional requirements. Let's do the same thing for monitor environment. Click on diagrams. Click on monitor environment action diagram. Under settings, click on generate functional requirements. And you see how easy that is. Diagrams are automatically derived from this process. For example, to access a requirements diagram, First, we'll click on the name of the requirements and select the desired document to switch the documents in the toolbar. Select Autonomous Vehicle Requirements. Click on 1.1 Input Requirements. In the toolbar, click on the Open drop-down. Under the SysML Diagram section, select the Requirements Diagram menu item. This displays a hierarchy of requirements and their direct relationship to other entities in the model. To perform an impact analysis on a single requirement, click on 1.1.1 Accept Destination Location. Then click on the Open drop-down. Under the LML Diagrams, click on Spider Diagram. The Spider Diagram displays all the relationships to an entity up to two levels deep by default. These relationships are filtered in the left sidebar. Click on the Settings button and select the Number of Levels menu item to observe additional levels. We chose four levels. To see the full diagram, we're going to have to minimize the size. And it's that simple. So how do we ensure our traceability is accurate? Watch the next video to find out.